Thanks for joining us at WISIS Forum 2019, where we discuss the role of ICTs to empower women to take part in the digital economy. And my guest is Professor Ravi Chandran Krishnamurthy from NYIT Abu Dhabi campus. Thank you very much for joining us, Professor. Good morning, Janet. And uh, Professor, you are the director and founder, actually, of a program called Women Power International Foundation. Now, it's a foundation you have created in India to help empower rural yes. uh, communities and women in particular. Yes, you are right. So this is uh, founded in India to help the rural women in India because India has about 60% of rural population. So the women uh, are struggling to market their products in India. So they produce a lot through some, uh, some help from the government, but they could not sell it. So I created an e-commerce portal to sell it worldwide, their application, their products in the international market. That's an idea. And it's all about boosting entrepreneurship and micro-entrepreneurship in particular, isn't it? Yes, of course. Uh, see, the basic idea for me, is, since I'm an educationist, I wanted to produce entrepreneurs, basically. So that to women entrepreneurs, because in, the, in 2030, women will exceed men in the world population. So to improve their skill levels, I thought entrepreneurship will be the important thing for the getting employment. Uh, so I started uh, teach, uh, telling them entrepreneurship uh, programs uh, in the colleges to bring them entrepreneurship. Once they become an entrepreneur, uh, we are providing them skill development, we are providing finance for doing these projects, and also we purchase the products and sell it in the international market. So this is the, uh, this is the total loop of this uh, subject. So you are trying to create a sort of template, aren't you, to reproduce a, a model whereby women can, can empower themselves to become yes. entrepreneurs. What are the, the main challenges they face in this journey? Because it's a tricky one, isn't it? Yes, uh, the basic thing is, first of all, attitude. The women should think not for employment, they should become entrepreneurs their attitude has to be changed. So everybody who's, who's studying in the colleges, they think that they wanted to join a big MNC, but they don't want to become an entrepreneur. But because the, the, the society inside the seg which we are living does not encourage entrepreneurship, this was the challenge, main challenge. Okay, so it's about raising awareness and changing mindsets. It's, it takes a long time to do that, but basically I've started the framework now. I, I'm telling that you get ready as an entrepreneur, that's enough. We will do all the job. We will train you, we will give you finance, we will market your product, and we'll give you profits. So this is the one help I can do from my side to do for the rural development for the village women's basically. And from the uh, conversation we've had previously, uh, another obstacle is possibly marketing your products. Yes, marketing a product uh, may be an issue, but what I focused is I go to a corporate and then say that, okay, you have uh, plenty of women working here. Why can't you, these women can buy the women products? So that is the way I market in corporates now, even the governments now. I tell them, those women who are employed, let them buy women products. So by which they help one woman to get more money. So that is the way I started this idea. Now successfully launched in India and also in UAE. We, we have a bilateral agreement where the women of UAE is putting their products inside and women of India is putting their products inside and we are selling in both the areas now. I have tied up with a lot of IT companies now um, to buy these products from their portals. A lot of women products are coming inside now. Um, biodegradable products for women, a lot of products like uh, makeup sets and everything, which is homemade. So this is all coming on the line now. So you can check womenpower.org now, dot in, which is a site for women to buy their products. And finally, why was it important for you to attend WISIS Forum? See, the WISIS Forum basically acknowledges the, the good researchers and also good projects. Um, this gives you a mileage for me to market my products through the government and through the society also. It gives a brand for me, at least a visas gives me a brand. Now to tell me I am a nominated uh, person in the visas and I got an award in the uh, visas forum. And also this is a body which supports all SDGs of uh, the UN. So uh, this may be, I think so, I've started now the journey. I don't know how the visas brand is going to help me. but. 
it counts actually. I've seen from the last uh, few days after my championship award was being nominated, I got a lot of calls from the government. I got a lot of calls from the local funders to encourage me actually. Something is uh, in the limelight now. I don't know how far it would go actually. Fantastic, thank Professor Krishnamurthy, thank you very much. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay, thank you. Good day.